All right, guys, what's up? It's late, late night, and um, I'm getting a late night workout in. And for today's video, I wanted to work on the pull-up. So I came by to my local gym, as you can see. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I perform the pull-up and uh, my uh, techniques. And I'm gonna show you guys things not to do and things to do. So be on the lookout for it. It's gonna be a great video, and I hope you guys train hard. All right, see you guys inside. I'm gonna be showing you guys pull-ups, all right? First, I'm gonna show you some real beginner mistakes. So first thing is like crossing your legs. I know a lot of people think that's the way to do it, but it's really not beneficial. And then you see a lot of swaying with the legs and the upper back. Those are things you just don't wanna do. Big no-nos, do not do those. I'm gonna show you the right way to do those. And the first thing, I secure, grab the bar securely, straight legs, and I'm pulling with my upper back. I slowed it, for, I slowed it down for you guys so you can see I'm pulling with a slight arch in my upper back. That's me trying to engage my scapula. Very important muscle in the pull-up to be able to execute it properly, right? So you notice it's consistent. That slight arch in the upper back aids with the pull-ups. And you're able to see the reps are get performed much better. All right guys, so what you guys saw was the end portion of my pull workout. At the end, I like to do pull-ups. And then while I was doing it, I was like, you know what? I wanna do a little focal point now. Cause I know as a novice and beginner trainee, pull-ups are very difficult. Um, so I'm speaking from my own personal experience. I couldn't do a pull-up when I first started getting into strength training and exercise. And now I can do a, a sufficient amount. So I'm gonna bring to you guys some of the stretching I do, some of the exercise, um, as persistent exercises I, I, I use to before my pull-up and before I begin my pull workout. It's very beneficial. I hope you guys really start to implement it into your routines. And I'm really, hope, really hoping that you guys try and build yourself up to that point. Because as I always say, the whole point of this is to slowly progress over time. Not do a whole bunch, you know, not do nothing, but do enough so the next day you have an improvement so you can go into your workout do your best, perform your best, and slowly build to get to a better you. So be on the lookout for that. I'm gonna be including it in this video, so take a look right now. All right guys, as I promised, I'm gonna have those exercises for you. The beginning part of this video, I said I would have some tips, strengthening and resistance, and stretching that you can do to help with your pull-up. So I'm gonna waste no time, we're gonna go right into it. The first one, you're gonna be using the wall. The second one, you'll use a broomstick. Third one, you'll use a resistance band. So, like I said, this channel, my content is for people trying to be more active, take the initiative, and be consistent with their exercise, right? So, my content is, is here, I'll for you guys, so you can do it anywhere. So, whether you're at home, you're at the gym, you're at the park, you're at the office, and you have some time, you can squeeze this stuff in, and it'll help, really help your training. So, like I said, right into it, here's your wall, right? Put your hand at Shoulder height, not too high, not too low. Right at shoulder height, okay? Perfect. I'm gonna take a few steps back. Now all you're gonna do is sink your head into your arm, between your arms, sink your head right here. Now you stop there. When your ears are by your biceps, your biceps are here, right, biceps are here. When your ears are by your biceps, you're gonna take a big breath in, hold, and then drop your head further. just call that upper back wall stretch <laughs> let's run with that so for that exercise you can do it I say two sets four to six reps is generally good if you need more do more sets if you need less and you're just ready to go you can do one uh, but play with it and see what your body responds to that's a really big thing so we're gonna move on to the broomstick one now all right guys so we're moving on to the second one so here is my broomstick all right all you're gonna do is a very, very simple stretch. It's really beneficial. Um, 
It's probably one of my favorite ones actually. It's just, it like really opens your thoracic spine and really stretches your um, latissimus dorsi as well. So you get like a lot of good activation through the stretch. It's probably the ones that I do pretty much almost every day. Um, even regardless if I'm doing upper body, lower body, running, so on and so forth, I pretty much do it every day. So drop it right into it. So you're gonna have a broomstick here. You're going to lean on something Okay, so when you're doing these exercises, right, you want to make sure that you have something sturdy in your hand, like I said, like a broomstick, you're on a sturdy object, and all you're going to do now is put your elbows a shoulder width apart, so whatever your width of your shoulders, that's where you put it, not too far out, not too far in, the width of your shoulders, and you're going to take a few steps back, make sure your back is flat, and then you're going to sink your head through your arms. Similar to that, the other one, but this one's really good. It'll stretch your, your lat, your lat muscle, and your back, and your upper back muscles as well. So come up again. So I'm gonna sink your head through. Big breath in. Try and drop your head further. And just hold it. And then come up. Big breath in. Sink your head through. So you'll find the stretch with the broomstick is very similar to the one at the wall, but this one is uh, activates some more muscles in there, so it really helps with the upper upper portion when you pull yourself over and having that range of motion to maintain it on your way down as well. So they're very similar, but I trust me, if you do that with this last one that we're going to get into, you're going to get a lot of lot more range of motion and the pull up is going to feel a lot better and help you finally get to that point of being able to do a pull up. So now we're gonna go to the third one and that's the resistance man. All right guys, so we're on to the third exercise. It is also one of my favorites. So here's the resistance band, right? Very simple. All you're gonna do is grab the band, shoulder width apart. So as you can see, it's shoulder width apart and my arms are shoulder height. They're not too high, they're not too low, right at shoulder height. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the band and you're gonna to pull towards your lower chest. So somewhat like nipple height is good. So you guys a couple rests from here, from the side, right? What you really don't want to do is yank it like this. Because you're not, you're not recruiting the muscles correctly, right? You're just doing it quickly and then you're not getting the muscles to activate and recruit together at the right time. So you want to make sure you're doing it slow and steady. Um, like I say, do, like I said in the early part of the video, two sets is good. Eight to 12 reps is ideal. If you need to do more, do more. If you need to do less, because your body's ready to go that day, less is fine as well. Play with it and let me know. Let me know what works for you. Um, like Those are the exercises I promise, I promise, I promise that those exercises will give you great results. Please implement it as soon as possible. If you're training today, do it today, all right? So like always, there's the one at the wall, there's the one with the broomstick, and the resistance band so like always please like the video subscribe to the channel share the link and train hard be consistent and let's get better together see you guys